Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a fun cozy video because it's a cold rainy day so why not do something fun. So I'm going to be tier ranking every single series that I've completed and I'm about 70% sure that all the series are on there. Uh, I'm probably missing a few from when I was a kid that I just don't remember reading. Though I didn't really finish that many series as a kid. So maybe I do have everything, but I think there's 70 series on here, which doesn't look like that many, but then thinking about it, yeah, that's a lot. So let's just get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have five tiers. Fit top, of course, is fave, basically my favorite series. Uh, I keep wanting to do a favorite series video, but then I can't decide what my favorites actually are, so maybe this will be in place of that. The next tier down is a great series, so something I still really enjoyed but wouldn't necessarily say is my favorite. Then solid. So this is a series that I enjoyed, and I'm glad I read, but I wouldn't necessarily reread. Next tier down is definitely went downhill or shouldn't have finished and these kind of go together because a lot of the times uh, when I don't enjoy a series it's because the book got progressively worse. Sometimes I continue a series when I really should have just not. So those are also going to go in that category. And the bottom tier is I have no memory of this place. <laughs> So these are series that I read either too long ago to have any memory of or I just don't remember anything about it. Um, there's one in particular that I know is going in that category and I'll talk about it when I get to it, but yeah. Uh, I didn't include any sort of like I hate this series category because generally if I'm finishing a series I at least enjoyed some of it. So but yeah, here is all the series and let's just get started. These are kind of in a random order. Uh, so enjoy. First up we have Scythe by Neil Shusterman and this is a trilogy that came out a few years ago. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put this in a great series because I did reread the first two before moving on to the third one and I really enjoyed it. Okay, next up is the Ninth Rain or the Winnowing Flame trilogy by Jen Williams. This is definitely going in fave. If I had to pick like life or death situation, a favorite, my favorite series, it would be this one. <laughs> so absolutely going at the top. Uh, I loved it so much and I just want to be rereading that series at all times. Uh, next up is Bring Me Their Hearts series by Sarah Wolf, and this was a YA fantasy trilogy definitely went downhill. Uh, this was actually the first series that I got an arc for. I got an arc for the second book, which was super exciting, but the second book was good, but the third book was just like, stuff was happening for no reason. I think it would have been much, much better as a duology. Uh, sometimes I think YA trilogies, specifically YA, kind of go on too long. Oh, next up we have one of the old series that I read when I was a kid and that would be The Princess Diaries. This series was everything to me. I remember the shelf that the books were on in my library. It was so good, but I'm gonna put it in solid just because I do have a quite vague memory of that series and I'm sure if I went back to reread it, it would not be as good as I remembered. So it's going in solid. Next up is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series by Holly Jackson. I think I'm gonna put this in fave. Uh, this is a mystery thriller YA trilogy, and I have not been able to find any sort of mystery thriller that I've liked as much as this series since I read it, so I'm gonna put it in fave. Also, now is a good time to note that I don't think I'm gonna, like, rank everything in a tier. Everything in a fave tier is just a fave. I'm not saying this is my first fave, this is my second fave, you know, that's too much work, especially for this amount of stuff. Uh, next up is the Daughter of the Lioness series by Tamar Pierce. This is the fourth series in her Tortal world. Her other series, which is coming up soon actually on this list. What is it called? The Alana books. Um, 
those I reread multiple times as a kid and were like an absolute favorite. And then I want to say these books came out just like after I had read those. So I'm going to put these in solid. I really don't remember too much about the actual plot, but I remember enjoying them. Next up is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I actually just got rid of this series because I don't think I'd ever reread it, so I think that tells you that it's going to go in solid. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. I think the first book was the best just because... I don't know, it just was. <laughs> but if you've ever seen the like original hardbacks of the, the books, because uh, I'm not sure what the new ones look like, the fourth book doesn't look very long but it has those super thin pages so it's like 800 pages long which i thought was just far too much for the story that was being told next up is a classic the hunger games i think it went downhill this is another one where again why was it a trilogy and maybe my opinion of the movies is kind of impacting this but I mean, the first one was definitely my favorite for the books. And then, like, if the first one is my favorite, didn't need to be a series, you know? Now it is time for the Alana series, which I still cannot remember the title of, <laughs> by Tamara Pierce. This is the first series in her Tortal books. I'm putting this in a great series because, weird, my camera just stopped recording, so I hope it got all of what I said. But anyway, this was a great series. Like, it was just so fun and one of the series that I would definitely say got me into fantasy. So I'm putting it in a great series. I would love to reread it because th those books are really, really short. So I would like to reread that sometime soon, hopefully. Next up is the Hot and Hammered series by Tessa Bailey. This is a three book romance series. Definitely went downhill for me. I know romance series aren't necessarily like you need to read all of them in order but yeah I didn't like the second two books as much as I enjoyed Fix Her Up which now that I'm even thinking about it is not really like a favorite of mine anyway so yeah the second book was a second chance romance which is like one of my least favorite things of all time so <laughs> I didn't enjoy that and then I don't know they all felt very similar because it's about these guys who all work at this construction company and then the girl like the girls that they end up with and so it like felt like all the girls were very girly girl and all the guys were super like grim and buff so it was like felt they all felt kind of similar other than the specific tropes that they were dealing with next up would be the Waterfire saga i think it's called it is a quartet about mermaids and I don't know anything else about it, so that's why I'm putting it in. I have no memory of this place. <laughs> I read it four or five years ago, and I could not tell you anything about it. Next up would be the Gumiho Duology by Kat Cho. I am torn between putting this in fave and great series, because I did really, really like it, and so... The second book that came out says that it's a companion, but it's actually really a sequel. So it is a duology. And I actually like the second one more than the first. Hmm. I'm gonna put it in fave because there were a ton of things I liked about it. Uh, I have mentioned before that I'm really into K-dramas and these books feel like K-dramas. Like modern K-dramas. So, putting it there. Oh, next up is the Vampire Academy series. I gotta put this in fave also <laughs> because I've read those books at least twice and I want to read them again. These are a perfect example of it's not good, but I love it. Like, I know it's not good, but I still love it. And a lot of that, I guess, is nostalgia, but I still would consider it a favorite series of mine. Next up is the Darker Shade of Magic series by B. Schwab. I am considering putting this in Should Not Have Finished, and I have no memory of this place, but Should Not Have Finished, I think, applies a little bit more. I remember reading the first one and thinking it was fine, 
and then everyone was like it gets so much better it gets so much better like keep reading and i read the second one and i was like okay that was also fine and i read the third one and i was like it didn't get better it was all just fine and i legitimately could not tell you a single thing that happened in that third book i can barely even tell you what happened in the first book so yeah i didn't like that series <laughs> which is an unpopular opinion i think next up is Win wing bound by heather trim this is a ya trilogy that the author sent me arcs of and i quite enjoyed it i'm gonna say it's solid um, it was pretty exciting to like get an arc for each of the books. It's about this world with this kind of floating island that rotates like that floats around the world once a year. So the people on the ground have to deal with the people living on that floating island once a year. Super interesting concept. So I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I'd ever reread it, but definitely solid. Next up is Frostblood. I do not remember who this is by, but this is going and definitely went downhill because I really enjoyed the first two books and the third book, which is the, again, trilogies. It's trilogies. I have an issue with trilogies. Um, I say that and there's like four trilogies up at the top, but ignore that. <laughs> um, yeah, this, the ending was bad. And it like retroactively ruined the rest of the series for me. So no thanks. Went downhill. Next up is Red Rising. Oh, I'm just counting the first trilogy. Um, I have read Iron Gold and I started Dark Age, but I just really didn't like them. I, I can't really say I got that far into Dark Age, but I have no plans on trying to read those again. So I'm just counting the first series because I think it should have stayed that way. Anyway, I'm going to put this in solid because i read it with a friend and i think that definitely inflated my opinion of it so if i had not read it with her i think it i would not have such fond feelings toward it or like less fond i guess i because i definitely enjoyed it but i don't think i enjoyed i would have enjoyed it as much had i not read it with her so i'm putting it in solid next up is the six of crows duology i'm going to put this in a great series because I definitely did enjoy it when I read it. Uh, I have been wanting to reread it but just haven't gotten to it yet so I don't think I would love it more by rereading it. Next up is the Goose Girl series by Shannon Hale. This is going right into fave. There are four books in this series. I've read the first book The Goose Girl like 10 times. Uh, that's my like favorite book of all time and I've read I think the second book twice and the third and fourth book once so i reread the goose girl a couple of years ago to try to like prepare to reread the other books and then i just never did it's like it's not like i don't know what happened in the goose girl so i could just pick those three up sometime so i should do that uh next up is the poison study series and this is just the first trilogy trilogy can you guess where this one's going? Uh, in the overall Chronicles of Ixia, it's going and went downhill. I thought the first book was really, really fun and I was like pleasantly surprised by it. But then the second and third books were like so different from that book and they were also like way too similar to each other. So it felt like I was just, it was just repeating the plot of those books over and over. Next up is Sabriel by Garth Nix. I am just going to count this as the original trilogy. Um, I'm going to say it was solid. I think the setup of the series is a little bit weird to me. Actually, it's kind of similar to Poison Study, where the first book and the second and third were very different, but like the second and third books were both super similar to each other. So I think that setup was really weird, but I really liked Sabriel and Lyriel was also really good because I love the setting of that book. So I wasn't, I didn't love the last book, but overall as a series, I think it was really fun. Oh my God. <sighs> this is taking way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I've gone through like 20 series. And I've been screen recording for 17 minutes. Oof. Okay. Gonna try to get through some of these a little bit quicker. Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. 
is a four book series. Mm, I'm gonna say solid just because I don't, I think the third and fourth books I didn't like, but I think I liked the first and second. I definitely like the first. <laughs> Also, if you see me looking over there, that's because my bookshelves are over there. So I'm looking at them to be like, did I like you? Okay, next up is The Summoning, I think by Kelly Armstrong. This is going in, I have no memory of this place. I, this is a YA like paranormal trilogy. There's werewolves. I read fan fiction for it at one point. That's all I remember. Um, next up is Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. This is another YA trilogy. That, uh, there are too many trilogies. I am going to put this maybe in a great series. I reread the first two when the third book came out and I loved them still. And I also loved the third book. So I did really love it. But like, would I still love it if I went back to it? I don't know, but I would like to reread it sometime. Okay, actually... When I said at the beginning that I didn't need a category for series I didn't like, um, this one for what falls firmly into that category if I didn't like it, but I should not have finished the King of Scars duology. Did not like the first book. Very strongly hated the second book. <laughs> Next up is the City of Brass series by S.A. Chakraborty. Strongly in fave. Love that series so much. I would love to reread it. I'm so excited to read The River of Silver. Um, so excited to read everything else that S.A. Truck Birdie comes out with. <laughs> Next up is the Golden Guard trilogy by Elise Kova, and this is a prequel series to Air Awakens series. Uh, I'm gonna put it in should not have finished because I'm okay with the fact that I read it, but it just like, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it in I have no memory of this place because I don't remember what happened because it had like no impact on me. Next up is the Empire of Sand duology which technically I don't know if it's finished but for now it's finished um and this is going to fave. I love Tasha Sherry. I love both of those books. I love it. Another one going in fave is unfortunately Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I've talked about this book a lot I feel like um, especially for someone who doesn't want to talk about Sarah J Mass that often. I have filmed a whole video about my thoughts on her, so I'll link that down below if you really care to know more. Next up is The Immortals Quartet by Tomorrow Pierce, the second series in her Tortal world. I'm gonna put this one also in a great series. I loved this series. Like, this one's my favorite one out of her four that I had read because I loved the romance in it, and if you have read this series, uh, you know that that romance is very inappropriate. So I'm judging myself, my past self a little bit for liking that so much. So it makes me nervous to reread it because I'm like, that was wildly inappropriate. <laughs> anyway, uh, next up is the Illuminae Files. I'm going to put this, should not have finished because I thought the first one was fine and then everyone was freaking out about Gemina. Is that the first, the second one? Everyone was freaking out about it. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. And it was like, still just fine. And then I was like, well, there's just one more. So I might as well read it. And I thought that was just fine. So should not have finished that either. Tell the boys I loved before. I like slammed through this series the weekend after the movie came out. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put it in solid because I thought it was a fun time, uh, but nothing I would read. The Inheritance Games is going in It Went Downhill. I think, again, a trilogy. Okay, all of these other than King of Scars are a trilogy. Uh, <laughs> I think it could have been a duology and maybe that would have been fine, but the third book just felt like contrived, I guess. There were just things happening for the sake of things happening. Next is the Brown Sisters series by Talia Hibbert. I'm putting that in a great series. I loved all three of those books and it has made me really want to check out more of Talia Hibbert's books. I haven't really been reading too much romance recently though, so that's probably why I have not done that. Uh, next up is Shadow and Bone series trilogy by Lee Bardugo and that's going in solid. I thought it was fun when I read it 
It could also, I think, fit and went downhill, but I enjoyed it enough to not think poorly of it. Next up is The Daughter of the Pirate King duology by Trisha Levenseller. I'm gonna put I Have No Memory of This Place. I remember really enjoying the first one, but that's literally all I can tell you about the series. Next up is the series Unfortunate Events. I'm gonna put this one in solid because I think the last book didn't end necessarily how I wanted it to and I don't think I would ever reread it. Well I guess I did reread it but <laughs> I wouldn't reread it again. Next up is the Ray Bearer series duology by Jordan Fuego. I'm gonna put that in a great series. Uh, I still think that was really good. Again there's some stuff in the second book that I wasn't totally a fan of but I still enjoyed it. Next up is the Queens of Renthia series by Sarah Beth Durst. Hmm. I loved the first two books in this series and the third one was not quite what I was expecting. Hmm. What do I want to do? I'm going to put it in solid just because that third one wasn't what I wanted. Next up is Fullmetal Alchemist, the only manga on this series, on this list. It is going in fave. I love it so much. I talked about that recently. I'm probably going to keep talking about it. I love it. <laughs> Next up is the Tea Dragon Society trilogy. This is a trilogy of graphic novels, I guess, for like younger readers. That's going in fave. This is the prime example of how you do like inclusive fantasy. It's so good. Uh, next up is the Cruel Prince trilogy by Holly Black. Again, it's going solid because I didn't love the third book. Now it's time for the Golden Compass or the Historic Materials by Philip Pullman. this one in solid no I'm not I'm gonna put it in a great series because I do want to reread it and I said that series and solid are not necessarily ones I would want to reread I don't know if that's true anymore anyway I would like to reread the golden compass because I read it as like a teenager and I would love to see how I feel about it now next up we have the rise of Kiyoshi series by FC Yi. This is based on the show Avatar Last Amber Airbender. I'm gonna put this in solid because uh, I think I have said this about like most of the books in this solid category is I did not like the last one as much as the first one, unfortunately. Um, next up is the Child of the Hidden Sea series, which I read at the beginning of this year and Hmm. I'm gonna put that one in solid also. The series overall was not what I was expecting. Uh, each book is kind of independent of the other two, so, but not really. The series overall was just not what I was expecting. Next up is Spin the Dawn, also going in solid because I did not like the second one as much. Mm. Next up is Mistborn Era 1. That is going in favorite. I love that series so much. If I had planned out my time a little bit better, I would have started rereading that and then gone into rereading Era 2, but I just didn't have the time and I didn't want to rush through it. Next up is Cryer's War. This is a YA duology. Went downhill, didn't like the second one as much. Air Awakens by Elise Kova is next. And I think I'm gonna put this one in a great series because it's five books long and I think each book was really fun. I think overall the series was really fun. There wasn't stuff that was happening where I was like this is so like out of character or outside of the what is capable in this world. I quite enjoyed that that series. Next up is Strange the Dreamer. This is going in fave. I loved it. I would love to reread it at some point but that just has not happened yet. Another favorite the Risen Kingdom series, so good. 
Um, next up is Harry Potter. I like didn't want to include this on this list because I've been trying to distance myself from Harry Potter, which has not been working because everyone keeps talking to me about it. Um, I'm just going to put it in I have no memory of this place because I wish I didn't have a memory of it. Uh, next up is the Furyborn series by Clara Legrand. That is going in downhill. That third book was a mess. Yeah. Okay, now Mystic and Rider or the Twelve Houses series by Sharon, Sharon Shin is going in favorite. I love that series so much. Finished it earlier this year. It was just great. Warcross by Marie Lu is a duology. Hmm. I'm gonna put it in a great series because I would like to reread it. And I remember I really, really enjoyed the first one and I thought the second one just wasn't what I was expecting, but it was still good. Next up is The Alchemists of Loom series by Elise Kova. I'm gonna put this in a great series because I really enjoyed it. I all, This is one that I also finished earlier this year. Um, very different from a lot of things I've read, but I thought it was really fun. Next up is the Rebel of the Sands series. I'm also going to put that in a great series. <laughs> that is a trilogy that I would love to reread uh, sometime soon. Okay, we're getting close to the end here. <laughs> like This has been going on for so long. Next up is Check Please, which is a graphic novel duology. I'm going to put this in a great series because it is adorable. Um, it's about hockey, which I don't like, but that's fine. The First Test or The Protector of the Small series by Tamara Pierce. I'm gonna put that in solid. I definitely didn't like that one as much as the Alana books or the Immortals series, um, but like you get to see the characters from the other series in that one, so I had like nostalgia attached to reading it. Next up is The Books of the Rexura by Martha Wells. I'm putting this in fave. This is a series that I didn't give any of the books five stars, but like overall, I adore the series. <laughs> Another favorite. Um, Fireborn is also going in fave. See, this huge favorite section is why I was like, I can't possibly do a favorite series video. <laughs> um, if you had followed me in August, you saw me talk about this book, this series, like nonstop. I have a full series review of that linked down below. If I actually... If I have any reviews for any of these, I'll link them down below. Next up is the Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel series by Michael Scott. This is a six book YA series and I'm going to put it in solid because it was solid. It was a fun time. I don't think I'd ever go back and reread it, but it was fun for what it was. I'm also going to put An Ember in the Ashes in solid. Again, the last book really... I didn't love how things wrapped up. Next up is Lord of the Rings. And this one is the one I mentioned at the beginning that is going in I Have No Memory of This Place, fittingly. I have no memory of this place. Yeah, I read this in middle school. I have no memory of it. Like, I'm going to reread it soon. I keep saying that I'm going to reread it soon, but I promise I actually will. <laughs> Next up is the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series by Lainey Taylor. Great series. I really, really enjoyed it. <sighs> I'm realizing by doing this that series, like, if you don't get the ending right, that is where you lose me with a series. Because there's stuff in the third book of this series that just made no sense and didn't have enough time to be resolved. And that's why I didn't love it. That's why it's not a fave. Okay, five more. Five more that I feel like I have a lot to say about. Um, Aragon, the Inheritance Cycle is next. This is going in solid because actually contrary to most of the other books on this list, I think it got better as the series went along and I'm happy with how it ended. But I think a lot of the stuff that happened at the beginning kind of just showed Christopher Pallini's inexperience. 
Uh, next up is Gregor the Overlander by Suzanne Collins, which is the series that she wrote before The Hunger Games, and I think it is way better than The Hunger Games. So it is going into a great series. It is five books long. I remember weeping at the end, and I think in book four also. And I started rereading it a few years ago, and I should go get back to that because it was really good. Next up is the Broken Earth series by N.K. Jemisin. I'm also going to put this in a great series. I think if I reread it, I would think it's a fave. Um, there is just a lot to process, I feel like, in that series, and I think I need two reads of it in order to do that. Next up, we have the Pendragon series by D.J. McHale. This is a 10 book series, uh, young adults. I don't talk about this series enough. I think I mentioned it recently, but I loved this series. Maybe I should do a series review of it, even though I haven't read it recently. Um, yeah, this is going in favorite because, I mean, I reread it. I reread a 10 book series. Like, that's commitment. So, I loved it. Next up. Finally, we're ending with a bang. We got Twilight. <laughs> I gotta put it in solid because I did enjoy it when I read it and I read it multiple times. So can't say that I regret reading it, but that was when I was in middle school. So, okay, we did it. I learned a lot. I feel like about my series tastes yeah, if the ending isn't good, then I'm probably not going to like it because if I'm looking up here at all my favorite series, I like how they ended. I like, yeah, and all these ones down here, I did not like how they ended or I had some kind of problem with the second book. So endings are important. But yeah, I hope this video was fun and I hope I didn't get cut off too many times because my camera kept stopping recording but yeah are there any of my picks that you totally disagree with because I would love to know um but yeah that's it for me today and I'll see you all next time bye